Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jason here, um, also known as the Social Media Samurai. I hope everything is well with you. Um, this edition of Samurai Extension, um, extended coverage for Madame Noir's Ask a Black Man. We're in week three, and the topic has shifted to sex. The guys on the panel are talking about turn-ons, turn-offs, things they like, don't like, issues of control, who has control in the relationship? What elements do men control more than women? Yada, 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 the whole nine. So, obviously, as you can bet, this um, subject pulled in a lot of questions, a lot of commentary, a lot of discussion. So, I'm going to dive in for some of the things that were spoken about and give the Samurai's two cents on it. I guess you could say it's um, Samurai on sex for this, um, this edition. This is part one. So let's dive into it. Is familiar sex better than new sex? Um, I think this is really a personal thing and how you um, how you personally get down and where you are um, where you are in life. If you are single and you are not necessarily looking to be um, attached to anybody for uh, an extended period of time, then you might be someone who gets the thrill from um, new partners. And maybe you're not someone that is so much into the longevity and trying to, you know, spice up and come up with new and creative things to do with a particular partner. Maybe you get to a point that, you know, you do what you do and then, okay, you're done. You don't want to do anymore. Um, on the flip side, I think the, I think familiar sex, there is something, there is something about being familiar with a person and I think in turn building, um, building confidence and building trust and building a situation where you are able to do new things and you know, be creative and be spontaneous and, you know, certain things that you're probably just not going to want to do or feel the comfort to do with, you know, just new interactions, you know, over whatever time period you're doing it. Um, I think that's the, I think that's the difference. I think that's the appeal that comes with, you know, a relationship, you know, saying relationship, not necessarily, you know, it might not be a serious relationship, but I think if you're, um, investing in an intimate relationship with one person, that's something that comes with the, um, the, the familiar territory, so to speak, you know, finding out what your partner likes, finding out what you like, where do you, um, where does your chemistry, um, direct you guys into areas of, um, experimentation and things that you just might not have been comfortable doing with somebody else, but you are now comfortable doing with this person. So, um, me personally, I think familiarity leads to a um, a better situation. But yeah, I mean, there's a, there's always a, a thrill. There's always a thrill that comes with something, you know, that is that is new, that first time, um, that first time interaction and, and engagement. But I guess if I had to pick one or the other, I think there's more room for pleasurable growth in a familiar familiar situation. Really? <laughs> All right. So, this question: head scarves, head wraps. Um, are they a turn off? Are you one of those guys that likes what is presented to you in the terms of your woman's appearance, but you're not a fan of seeing the things that go into producing that look? Um, here's my thought process. If you're dealing with someone and you're in that space where you're you're gonna you know, get you're, you're crashing or you routinely stay over the night that she feels comfortable enough to do that stuff around you, you better act right and and, and just deal with it. Like I, I wanna think that once you've gotten to a certain point of comfort with a person, those things I mean, we're not, you know, we're not kids, we're not teenagers. I don't see why that would be or turn off. Very few people roll out of bed 
looking their most presentable. So if you're someone who loves, you know, loves your woman's hair and that's how she maintains it, then what's the, what's the problem? I mean, so, I mean, some people, you know, some people may be, you know, superficial to that point. And, you know, they can only deal with the finished pro progress, um, finished product and not the actual, you know, process of seeing things. In my mind, I feel like that's sort of a, I feel like that's sort of a trust, um, a trust element. The person is saying, you know what, I can take off some of these layers around you and I feel comfortable, comfortable doing that. Because there are some people who, you know what, if they don't feel comfortable, they will not do that or, you know, keep the hair or the weave in or whatever, whatever it is the person's working with might not reveal all that to you still and still kind of keep that presentation going, even at a time when you really should be comfortable and should be able to kind of let it all hang out, so to speak. Hopefully you're not letting too much hang out. I mean, again, hopefully what you see and what you fell for and what you were attracted to isn't so far removed from what the person actually is, but you know, realistic, um, realistic space for things like that. Hair doesn't, you know, hair doesn't maintain itself. So yeah, I think we should sort of be beyond the whole, I don't want to see her sleeping in her head wrap thing, you know, again, maybe that's just me, but it's not a, it's not a turn off at all. If I've gotten to that point with you, I'm probably good with a few, a few things like that. Man, I think these questions are set up to get get us dudes in trouble. Um, a common mistake made by most women in bed. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely a conversation that comes up amongst the guys. But um, I think, and I've definitely heard heard this a lot. I think a common mistake is is lack of activity. I think when I say lack of activity and, you know, I've heard this a lot, you know, women who sort of feel like you as the man should just be happy to be there. So they don't necessarily feel they have to do much or put in much more work versus just sort of being the recipient of the activity. And, you know, I think this kind of goes to the idea that, you know, Men just will say yes to anything and will do anything with anyone. So once they've gotten it, they don't care. They just kind of want to get theirs and whatever. So I've definitely heard of situations where it's like guys had to sort of really take the take the lead and take the take charge of of matters because like yeah, she's just lying there. Like she doesn't she doesn't move. She doesn't do anything. It's just like okay, I've allowed this to happen. Now let me just chill and you do all the work. So that's the only thing I could say from from hearing realistic I can't I can't honestly say that there is a common thing that has been problematic in that way. I think everybody has their own, you know, their own style, their own nuances. So I can't say across the board most women make a, a mistake, especially especially referencing a mistake in bed. Now there might be there might be things that women commonly assume or think about men, and I think I just kinda I think kind of, um, I reference this in regards to the assumption of what us men are into and what we will and won't do and the idea of us just wanting everything, you know, no, no matter what, like there's no, you know, there's no taste, there's no anything that says, oh yeah, it's, we gotta do that, fine, let's do it. Um, that's the only common thing. I'll be perfectly honest, the older I get, the... The, the thought process of men being the oversexed, can't get enough um, gender to me really falls to the wayside because again I I hear more about I hear more about sex from and and the want and the the need and have to have it from women more so than I do from from my guys I don't know if that's something where they say once you hit thirty things change and women get a particular way, maybe guys chill out after that whole, you know, teenage into 20 phase, whatever the case may be. So I don't know. That's kind of, I leave that question, I leave that question alone. I don't think there's much commonality in what women do across the board in bed, you know, to each, to each their own with that.